Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Guadalupe? Hello, Diego. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. How was your day? It was nice. Okay, I am glad because of that. Thank you. It Hello. was good. good Hello, good evening. It was a good day. Tiring. I had many things to do, but it was good. I mean, it was acceptable in the end. I always have a lot of things to do, but this was a little extra <laughs> about everything, but it was good. The traffic was nice in the afternoon, so I arrived early to my house. Okay, so uh, Lupita, where do you work? I work in Cojutepeque. In Cojutepeque. And you live there, no? No, I live in Ilopango. Oh my God. Is it, is it really far from Cojutepeque? Mm, no, no. Um, for me, it's a little near. Um, uh, the distance is about 30 minutes or 40 oh, minutes. So it is It is kind of close. I thought that it was further, yeah. but it, it is good, right? It, it, is, it is acceptable. 30 minutes is like the normal distance that you get to to go to work because that, yeah. that's what takes me to go to my office. <laughs> so that's so nice. 30 minutes. Mr. Diego, where do you work? I think Diego doesn't have the audio ready. Hello, Jami. Where do you work? No trabajo. I don't work, you say. I don't work. I don't work. Well, but uh, I mean, how old are you right now? I am a student. I am a student, right? I am a student. But my question was, how old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes? Oh, ah, okay. I am 21 years old. Ah, you're 21. So you're very young. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy <laughs> this moment of the life. Yeah. When, when you live, when you, do you live with your parents? I live um, in San Salvador. Okay. San Salvador. Oh, you live in San, Salvador, in San Salvador. So yeah, enjoy. I mean, enjoy this moment of life. <laughs> <laughs> Later on, it's just working and working and working and working. So <laughs> it's a it's a lot of work later, but it's good. I mean, it's it's every stage of life is good. Cada etapa de la vida es, es tiene su, su afán. Yes. <laughs> so it, it is very good. Well. <laughs> okay. What are you studying? What are you studying? Uh, uh, English. Hey, only English. <laughs> okay, and at the university as well? Eh, es que ahorita, eh, bueno, estoy aprendiendo lo que es el inglés porque, bueno, si Dios lo permite, me voy este año a Estados Unidos. Oh, that's so nice. Ajá, entonces mi mamá quiere que aprenda bien el inglés. That's so good. So, no more Spanish. <laughs> we, need, <laughs> we need to practice only English. Okay, so that's okay. good. Only mm -hmm. English. That's the only way that you can do to practice. Because I mean, for you to improve, to travel or something, force yourself only to speak English. Yes. So you have to listen to English, eat English, sleep with English, <laughs> practice in English all the time, get wow. different apps, listenings, etc. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you need to practice a lot because yeah. that's, that's the only way. That's the only way to learn. So, congratulations. Thanks. Okay, good, very good. Welcome to all the ones that are connecting. Hello, and welcome to your class. It is a big pleasure for me to have you here and for sure to have another opportunity to continue learning, okay? So, we are going to work a little bit on a, a little exercise, right? We are going to work on a little exercise and we are going to work and this is going to take time, okay? We're going to- Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. 
I am going to give you time for this exercise. We are going to be using periods of three minutes, okay? We are going to use periods of three minutes and we are going to write different words. So I need you please to get, get your notebook, okay? Get your notebook. Can I see your notebook? Where are they? What are your notebooks? Show me your notebooks. The notebooks. Muéstrame sus cuadernos. Show me your notebook because you're going to use it. Lo van a usar. Show me your notebook. Show me your notebook. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Guadalupe. Thank you, Adriana. Everybody, show me your notebook. Even the ones that are not online. Mr. Jorgito, I cannot see your camera. I need to see your notebook. David, Laurita, thank you very much, Catherine. Okay. Mr. Diego, Carlos, Isela. I need to see all the notes. Okay, what we are going to do is that I am going to give you one letter. I am going to give you one letter and I need you please to write as many words as possible with that letter, okay? Please, no proper names, okay? Nombres propios, no. Imagine that I say letter A, right? La letra A, and you say, Ana, Anita, no, right? <laughs> so that is not appropriate. Names, no. But different words with the letter, okay? Todas las palabras que puedan con la letra que les voy a dar. In three minutes, okay? So the letter that I am going to give you to practice, okay? Le voy a dar una para que practique. The letter that I am going to give you to practice is the letter C. Okay, it's the letter C. And you have three minutes to work. So in these three minutes, I need you to write as many words as possible with the letter C. Todas las palabras que puedas con C in English, right? No proper names. Cat, coconut, cucumber. All the words with C. Tampoco se vale ir a Google. Palabras con C, no. <laughs> Don't Google anything. Just use your brain. That's the only thing. We have three minutes and you have them here on the time. Three minutes to write as many words as possible with the letter C. Con la letra C, todas las palabras que puedan in English. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome. Estamos haciendo un reto de vocabulario. Todas las palabras okay. que puedas con la letra C in English. Perfect. Oh. Continue, one minute, 37. As many words as possible with C. Yeah, cuando se acabe el tiempo se van a acordar de todas las que no hemos escrito. Okay, we have one minute. We have one minute. One minute. Thank you to all the ones who have the camera on. Y para los que me faltan todavía la cámara, porfa, ayúdenme con eso. 47 seconds, 44, 42, 40. 39, as many words as possible with the letter C. 25 seconds, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands up. 
Manos arriba, todos. Manos arriba, manos arriba, manos arriba. No more writing, no more writing. No more writing. Let's see. Can you count how many words do you have? Okay, Oscar, yes, tell me. Ah, no, 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 ya vi que te reconocí la manita. How many words do you have? ¿Cuántas tienen? Count, I need you to count. Okay. Ten, okay. says David Alejandro. Twenty-four. Twenty-four, wow. Twenty-four uh, words. Fifteen. Fifteen, twenty-three, Jorgito, good. But legal, right? Legal, not the ones that this, that you were Googling, like words with C in Google, right? 18, Brian, very good. 13, David Rafael. Okay, so 25 is a top number. Do you have more than 25? No, no one? Okay, 25, can you read them, please? Uh -huh. Go ahead, please. The one who has 25, la que tiene 25. Can you read them, please? Yo tengo 24. Okay, it's okay. Okay. Car, carrot, carrion, coconut, cucumber, case, cash, coin, clip, cake, cupcake, <laughs> clothes, <laughs> candle, <laughs> Camp, cherry, cool, cold, cheese, cookies, calm, cute, cream, eh, cortar, cut, 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 uh -huh. cut, and cook. And cook, very good job, 24 words. Excellent reactions for your friend. She deserves the reactions, very good job. <laughs> Reactions for your friend. Nice job. Nice job. Who has a different one? ¿Quién tiene alguna palabra que no se haya mencionado en la 24 de Ana Ruth? Eh, I. Ajá. Calcium. Calcium. Ajá. Coffee. Coffee. Classmate in Class, classroom. Classmate in classroom. Very good. Chain. Chamber. Chain. Ay, that's good. Chamber. Good. And car. Car. Excellent. Any other new word that it's not included in Ana Ruth's list? Or connections. Connection. Good. Very good. Connection. Excellent. Yesterday we started. How do you say pantorrilla? Oh, computer. You... Computer. Good. Computer. How do you say pantorrilla in English? Calf. Calf. Right. We learned that one yesterday. Calf. Okay. And that was a very good exercise. You see, I always say that to practice English is not necessary to have many things, right? Ay, es que no tengo inter, no puedo practicar. Ay, es que no ando datos, no puedo No, get a paper. Agarre un papel. And then start like, okay, ahora con la A. And then with B, then with C, then with D, with E. And then start creating to see if you have vocabulary, right? That is a very, very good practice. We are going to be doing this little game right during the classes because it helps a lot. Okay, so today we are going to do a little conversation, right? Thank you for all the brain thinking thing that we did in this night. Let's see. Yesterday we started talking about um, feelings right how did you feel what uh, what was happening to you and everything so we are going to continue developing that specific topic and it says hey kenichi how are you i'm not so good actually why what's the matter well i have a headache and a backache maybe you have the flu mm, no I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Right, for sure. Right? I feel better already. <laughs> it's like, thank you. 
Oh, I think one restaurant, I feel better now. I feel perfect, right? Listen and practice. You can practice with your microphone off so you can concentrate, okay? No podemos concentrar, practicamoslo con el micrófono apagado and then we're going to practice together. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? I can see your mouth, don't worry. Oh, I'm not so good actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Hmm. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Okay, pronunciation that is difficult for you? Yes, teacher, eh, head, yo, bueno, yo esa palabra, yo la pronunciaba como headache, no es, no es así entonces. No, it's headache, headache. The pronunciation, it is very common that you say headache or backache, right? But it's not the mark of C-H-E, no se marca la C-H-E, it's a headache, backache, right? The ache, ache. Okay. El A-C-H-E is ache, headache, backache, earache, right? That's a pronunciation of that one. So you say, I have a headache and a backache. Any other one? Any other difficult pronunciation? <clears throat> Homesick is a no. melancólico. Melancólico, nostálgico. That's homesick. There you have the pronunciation. You're welcome. Here you have it, as you can see. Headache. 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 There you have the headache. That's the pronunciation. Teacher, yeah? teacher puede, pron puede pronunciar donde, después de donde dice bath, maybe I can help. Let's have a lunch. Es todo eso. Ah, let's have lunch. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. Let's have lunch. Have, remember, la pronunciación de la V, have with V, right? Labio, dientes, have. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. Thank That's you, a great idea, right? That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Well, I have a headache and a backache, right? Maybe you have the flu. It is important because on the conversation, the person feels sad, right? In la conversación, el chico está alegre o triste? Está triste. Está triste, right? So imagine that you say like, Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. It's not possible because he's feeling bad. So he's like, um, I'm not so good, actually, right? Cuando usted anda triste, anda así como, estoy súper bien, o sea, todo mal, pero qué nice. O sea, me encanta mi vida, súper cool. Estoy súper triste, pero ando bien al 100. No, right? You don't do it like that. So he's like, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Y ahí te preocupas por el otro. No, así como, why? What's the matter? No, right? So you say, why? What's the matter? Well, 
I have a headache and a backache, right? If you have a headache and a backache, you are not going to be like, I, I have a headache. That's beautiful. I have a backache. That's perfect. No, right? <laughs> you are dying because it hurts. But I have a headache and a backache. Mm, maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. When you say, that's too bad. It's like, oh, que lo siento, yeah? that's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Yeah, yeah, cambia porque ya se le grow, yeah? That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. So intonation in English is very important because that's the one that it's going to give us the idea of the conversation, okay? So I am going to ask uh, Adriana Burgos to help me. Adriana, I am going to be Brian and you are Kenichi, okay? Okay, teacher. Hey, Adriana, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good actually. Okay, pero estás mal, tienes que sonar que estás mal. Oh, I'm not so good actually. Okay. Okay, again, aquí no pasó nada. Boom. Action. Um, Adrián, okay, help me. Um, hey Adriana, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good actually. Hey, why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Mm, maybe you have the blue. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. I uh, that's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Salvadorian restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks. Um, Nati. Nati. <laughs> I feel better already. Okay, very good. I took you to a Salvadorian restaurant. Pupusas fix everything. So you are going to feel better, right? Las pupusas curan todo. So no problem. Thank you, Clap for Adriana, please. Thank you very much. Claps, claps, claps. Good, 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 good. Let's go with David and Ana Ruth. David is Brian and Ana Ruth is Kerichi. Remember to use your names, right? Yeah, me or the other? You, you start. Hey, Adriana. Okay. Uh, hey, Ana Ruth, sorry. Yeah, okay. Hey, hey, Ana Ruth, how are you? Oh, I am not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a back and a backache. Uh, maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks. Brian, I feel better already. Brian, David, Rafael. <laughs> I feel better already. Very good job. Excellent job. You did a fantastic job. Mr. Josue Abel in Guadalupe. Go ahead. Hey, Guadalupe. How are you? Um, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you maybe you have the flu? No, I think I just feel a little homesick for El Salvador. <laughs> Thanks, too bad. But maybe it can help let's have lunch at the new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Josue. I feel very already. Okay, sushi is going to fix it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Very good job. Very good job. Let's see. I am going to take my last couple to practice this conversation. And it's going to be Laura and let me see, Eric Javier. Laura Lisette and Eric Javier. Action. Okay. Okay, Eric is going to start. Go, Eric, again, please. Hey, Laura, how are you? 
oh, I am not so good, actually. Actually, actually. Actually. Why? What's the better? Well, I have a headache. Headache? Headache. And a bat, back no bad cake, no bad cake, no bad cake, bad cake, pastel mal, bad cake, bad cake. Yes, good. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I think I think I think I, I, I use. Feel a little some size for Japan. For Japan, uh -huh. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at the that new Japan restaurant. Japanese. Japanese. Tax tax agree. Idea, 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 idea. Yeah. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Okay, already. thanks, Brian. I feel better already. It is important that we listen to the pronunciation and try to repeat as close as possible. Okay, tratemos de repetirla tan cercano como podamos a como a como suena, right? So you say, um, "How are you?" Right? How are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Right? Actually, why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. Thanks. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Okay, so that was our intro conversation. In yesterday's class, I was showing you questions like this one. What's the matter, right? How are you? For you to look for different health problems, right? And you say, uh, when you say, for example, mm, maybe you have the flu, when you are guessing what's going on, right? So like, no, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. Okay, no es algo físico lo que le está pasando, es un estado un poquito de sentimiento, right? He feels homesick. And I can help, he says. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Ya me siento mucho mejor. So, in this case, we have different sentences and different uh, answers. In this one, the first one we have is the following. Hi, Lisa, how are you? And the closest answer that we can have is like, I'm fine, thanks, how about you, right? That would be the answer for, how are you? And you say, I am fine, thanks, how about you? And she says, not so good, actually. I feel really awful. Mm. What will be the answer here? She says that she feels awful. That's too bad. Are you going to see a doctor? Okay, so you have here, right? That's too bad. Are you going to see a doctor? And she says, I think I have the flu. Do you think well, that's no. do you think that's correct? No. no, right? That's not the correct answer, but let's try another one. So, no, I am going to go home and rest. So here we have this one. So in this case, we can use the previous one, right? That's too bad. Okay, here you have, that's too bad, period. Are you going to see a doctor? In this case, yes, right? We need this, we need this sentence right here because it fits better, right? Y si nos queda esta. That's What's grown croquet? In exactly, right? There you go. Very good job. What's wrong? ¿Qué te pasa? What's wrong? 
Okay, yeah. very good job. What's wrong? And because on this one, you are asking, what's the problem? What's wrong? And you say, I think I have the flu. Ooh, that's too bad. Are you going to see a doctor? No, I am going to go home and rest. What do you think it follows? Thanks, she says. Great, see you tomorrow. Great, see you tomorrow, right? So we're going to use this one here. Great, see you tomorrow. Okay, great. And here we have, oh, it's a period. See you tomorrow. And then you have the period. In the evening, right? It's later on the day, at night, she says, I feel much better. I feel much better. Which is the question that we need here. How do you feel tonight? How do you feel tonight, right? How do you feel tonight? Ya de noche. How do you feel tonight? Let's see. How do you feel tonight? And the answer for this one is, I feel much better. What would you answer? I have to feel better. I'm glad so? to hear you that. So what are you going I'm to glad to hear you. that. Oh, I am wow. glad to hear that, right? I am glad to hear that. We are going mm. to find a mistake in a moment, right? So it says, I feel much better. And in this one, you say, I am glad to hear that. I am glad to hear that. Thanks. So what is the next question? I am glad to hear that. Thanks. So are you going so, to go are you going are you going to the school tomorrow? Exactly, right? So are you going to go to school tomorrow? Are you going to go to school tomorrow? Peter, did yo you, creo que me equivoqué en el you, anterior. So, I told you, right? Ya vamos a encontrar un error por ahí. Ya lo encontramos. So, it says, yes, I am. So, in this one, we are going to yes. say, great, <laughs> see you tomorrow, right? Great, see you tomorrow. And in this one. So great, see you tomorrow, Eva. I hope you feel better soon. Exactly. So, here you have. I hope you feel better soon. Espero que te mejores pronto. I hope you feel better soon. Okay, so there we have a conversation, right? We have a conversation with the different vocabulary. And I am going to ask different people to read it. We are going to go right here, okay? This is going to be number one. This is number two, okay? I am going to go here. This is number two. Okay, this is going to be number three. Okay, this is number four. This is number five. This is going to be number six, number seven, number eight, and number nine. Okay, so there you go, we have nine. And I am going to ask different people to read it. Guadalupe, you are number one. Cynthia Marisol, number two. Mirna, number three. Josue, number four. Sandra, number five. Juana Margarita, number six. Ana Ruth, number seven. Roberto, number eight. And Laura, number nine. Read your sentence. Yeah, well. Okay, Guadalupe is number one. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Cynthia? Hi, fine, thanks. How about you? No, so good. Actually, I feel really awful. What's wrong? Sandrita, I cannot listen I, to you. I think I, think I have the flu. Okay. That's that's too bad. Are you going to see a doctor? 
No, I'm going to go home and rest. I, ho I hope you feel better soon. I hope you feel better soon and Laura. Thanks. How do you feel tonight? Okay, how do you feel tonight? That's good. Okay, Laurita, no bringamos la siguiente. That's good. The next one, David, continue. I feel much better. Very good, Adriana. I am glad to hear that. I am glad to hear that. Brian Francisco. Same thing used to blow his brains out. Brian Francisco. Thanks. So are you going to go to the school tomorrow? And Diana Beatriz? Hi, teacher. Yes, I am. Esa le tocó. La línea que le tocó. Ah, perdimos a Dianita. Andaba, andaba en otro lado. <laughs> yes, I am. La primera. La, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. La sexta okay. línea del número dos. Okay, yes, I yeah. am. That's, that's too bad. Are you going to see a doctor? Okay, we went back to, to the conversation. <laughs> Le tocó, yes, I am. Eso, solo el yes, I am. Ah, uh, okay, yes, I am. Yeah. And the last one, <laughs> great. See you tomorrow, students. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> but it was good. It was nice. Let's see. I am going to give you one line and you answer with the next one. This is for everybody, okay? Yo voy a ir dando una y ustedes me van contestando. Hi, Lisa. How are you? I am fine. Then what about you? Very good. Mirna representando al equipo. Everybody, please. One, two, three. Hi, Lisa. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. I'm fine. I'm fine. 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 How about you? <sighs> Not so good, actually. I feel really awful. What? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? I think what? I have the flu. Thanks. That's, That's just bad. bad. Wrong. Are you going, going to see a doctor? No, I am going to go home and rest and maybe some palagrip and that's it. I hope you feel better, better song. I thank you very much. What do you feel tonight? I feel much better. I am glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. Hey, thanks. So are you going to go so to, to, to school tomorrow? Yes, I am. Great. Great. See you tomorrow. See tomorrow. you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Very good job, my dear students. Yes, nice. See you Great. See you tomorrow, you say. So very good job. What about this one? I have another picture here. And I need you to tell me what's happening on these pictures. What's happening to Amber? What's wrong with Amber? What's wrong with Amber? Elbow hurts. Aha, her elbow hurts. 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 Okay, how do you say that? ¿Cómo decimos cuando hay dolor en una parte? Amber. Pain. Aha, ache. Uh -huh. ache yes. is for a specific parts of the body, right? The head, the ears, the tooth, right? That's ache. So in this case, remember that I told you yesterday that it's a sore. Sore. So sore es un dolor determinado en un lugar del cuerpo, right? I have sore hands. I have sore wrists. I have sore elbow, right? Sore, tengo un dolor oh, en el codo. So she has sore elbow. Sore elbow. What about David? Headache. He has a headache, right? He has a headache. What about Alisa? She has sore eyes. Sore eyes, very good. She has sore eyes. And what about Nicholas? What is happening with Nicolas? Uh, okay, he has a toothache. 
right? He has a thudic. Oh my God, right? So to give a complete sentence here, so you say Amber has a sore elbow, right? She has a sore elbow. Alisa has sore eyes, right? ¿Por qué no decimos has a en el caso de Alisa? Porque le duelen lo, los ojos. Ajá, ajá, le duelen los ojos. ¿Y right. qué pasa con los ojos? That's a plural, right? Very good job. Nicolás has a toothache. Has a toothache, ¿ok? Porque le duelen todos los dientes, pero en general, la dentadura, right? He has a toothache, that's singular. And David has a headache, right? Y tiene un dolor de cabeza. He has a headache. And she has a sore elbow. What do you think it's the best option for them? So what they should do? What they should do with the problem? ¿Qué tendrían que hacer en este caso? She should what? Go dancing with the sore no. elbow? No, <laughs> right? No. Okay. Go to the doctor. Go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. Go to the doctor. She needs to go to the doctor, right? She needs to go Teacher. to the doctor. Yes? Me perdí cuando eh, puso el sore elbow, esa palabra sore, ¿para qué la ocupamos? Para un dolor en un lugar específico, porque no podemos decir, por ejemplo, ok, me voy a mi pizarra, let's go to the pizarra, como Superman. Ok, here we go. We have a specific health problems, for example, finishing with ache, right? Okay, here we have ache. That's a problem, right? The ache. Which ones do you have with ache? You have a headache. You have a toothache. You have a backache, right? You have a stomachache. Okay, en este caso tenemos dolor de cabeza, dolor de estómago, dolor de espalda, dolor de dientes, right? That's dolor de, that's ache. But if I say with the word sore, okay, sore, eso lleva como un problema más allá, es un dolor en una parte específica. I have, for example, sore elbow, okay? Que no es algo que le va a dar, por ejemplo, por comer mango o leche o lo que sea. Es un problema que le dio porque se golpeó o algo. So you have a sore elbow. It's like, Ay, I have a pain here. So in good Spanish, we always say like, me ha caído un dolor, we say. No, ¿cómo le va a caer el dolor? Sí. But we, we use that in Salvadorian, right? We have sore elbow. We have... <laughs> porque se cayó, right? You have sore eyes you can have sore knee right you can have a sore knee okay because those are specific pains in specific parts of the body right because in this case for example you don't say i have elbow ache porque esta palabra no existe elbow ache It will be like el elbow ache. I me comí la W, sorry. I have, okay, I will write it, perfect. Okay. I cannot say I have elbow ache. That was like dolor de codo. <laughs> We don't say that. We don't say dolor de codo. We say, me duele el codo. Tengo un dolor en el codo. So that is one, uh, one thing, right? When you make a difference between Uh, sore and when you make a difference between ache okay is it clear the difference thank you teacher very good job okay it's it is good that we take the time to explain these specific things right because it is important it is important to check it so let's go back to the people on the pictures okay so amber has a headache has a, so, a sore elbow right she has a sore elbow And what is the best that she can do? 
she can go to the doctor, right? She has a sore elbow. And what are the recommendations? Go to the doctor. Go to the doctor. Take what? ¿Qué puede tomar para ese dolor? An aspirin. Take an aspirin. What else? The best medicine on earth. The one that you receive when you have everything. Take acetaminophen. acetaminophen. <laughs> acetaminophen. <laughs> Paracetamol, right? You have that's magical. It helps with everything, right? Mi madre le dice la fe te vale. Yeah, she's a nurse. Mi mamá es enfermera. <laughs> Así que me dice, tomate esta, se te va a curar. And later on, I say, like, what did you give me? I said, I mean, nothing. <laughs> and I feel better now. So, relax muscle? Yeah, you can, she can uh, relax her muscles, right? She can use muscle cream. Muscle cream, it's la artrición, ¿verdad? La crema y que se, se puede echar ahí. ¿Cómo? What is the name of the other one that's very famous? Uh, Marihuana. <laughs> yeah, no, but that's another one, the one that uses the football players use it. Cofal. Cofal, right? Cofal. So she can put some cofal there, so that would be good, oh, right? Wow. You can rub cofal. A strong cofal. Okay, a strong. <laughs> strong cofal. <laughs> you can rub. Así se llama. Yeah, hay cofal normal, cofal fuerte. Okay, the action of rub. ¿Qué significa rub? Untar, hacer como el masaje. Rub cofal. Okay, what are the things that you can rub? The cream, right? All the creams, you can rub them, right? When you have the flu, what is something that you rub on yourself? Big. Big vaporú, <laughs> right? That's a very common, right? Que huele a vaporú. Ah, it's the person with the flu, right? That you put some vaporú here in your pechito. And it feel, you feel better, right? So those are things and procedures that we can do with medicine, okay? Things that we can do with the medicine. And what's the recommendation for David? David has a headache. Ultra strong panadol. <laughs> he has a headache, right? Take an ultra strong panadol. Good, what is another recommendation for a headache? Una dolofín. Okay, take a dolofín. Okay, Una for the migraine, yes. Another one. A Salvador, good. Juanita, Juanita is the nurse in here. Uh, Juanita es la certificada, vamos a ver. Eh, Dextoketoprofeno. Ah, keto, ketoprofeno. Dextoketoprofeno. Oh my goodness. Eso es buenísimo. Dexto... Oh, es mejor que el dextoketoprofeno. Ah, no temo. <laughs> Deme esto que me dijo Juanita, le ves. <laughs> Okay, good. Thank you, Juanita. That's new for me. That's new for me. Yo hace también no fue What about Alisa? Alisa has sore eyes. Oh my God. What can she do? Oimen. Some ointment, right? Un <laughs> ungüento. Yeah, there are there is some right for you to put on your eyes. But what is another one that it's very famous in these cases? Lagrimitas. Lagrimitas, right? But the, these are called, she has sore eyes. Un gotero de cloramfenicol. Cloramfenicol, you see. <laughs> she can put some eye drops. Eye drops okay. are the, la gotitas. Terra, terramicina, teacher. Terramicina, well, she has, if she has, what is the name of this? I. Conjuntivitis, maybe, right? <laughs> she has conjuntivitis. She can put the Ointment for the eyes. Ointment for the eyes. And what about Nicolás? He has a turic. Anadent. Anadent, very good. So take, <laughs> take an anadent. 
Que me explique puro. La naproxeno es buenísima. Naproxeno, yeah, that's very good. Que mastique un puro. What? También el mirto, si lo mastica. Mirto. Una planta. Oh my goodness. So, aquí ya vamos con los remedios naturales. Yeah, that's good. Clavo yeah. de olor. Clavo de olor. Oh, alcohol, alcohol. Bueno, yo sabía del hilo rojo por el hipo, pero eso ya van más allá. También dicen que la plantita de dormilona duerme la, la, el diente o la moto. Oh my God. Duerme el diente y el cliente. ¿Qué le pasó? Una dormilona. Well, that's good, right? I, lo, I love that they need to go. He needs to go to the dentist. That's the best thing that he can do, right? He el dentista y esta planta, hijo. My English class. They recommend it. They recommend it to me in the English class. So we have here different types of medicines, right? We have different types of medicines. And we have, for example, antacid. Antacid. In which cases can you use antacid? ¿En qué problema podemos ocupar el antacid? Stomach ache. For stomach Stomach Another one. Do you remember this one? Let me see. Uh, it's Heart here. One. The heartburn, right? In the heartburn. Uh, you say, mm, my God. You can use antacid. Good, very good. What about aspirin? Headache. For a headache. Mm. Good. For a headache, for a toothache, right? Anything. For the muscle cream. In which cases can you use the muscle cream? Mm. Muscular pain. Or muscular pain for any uh, muscular pain. Very good. What about the cough syrup? Cough. <laughs> the cough syrup. The oh. cough syrup. Mm -hmm. In the cough. <laughs> the cough. The cough syrup. Oh, el, jarabe. el jarabe para la tos. For, oh, flu. for the flu, right? For the flu as well. The cough drops son pastillas para la tos, right? And what about this one? The cold pills. Cold pills. No es que la, las píldoras o las pastillas estén heladas. Es para el resfriado, right? I think I have a cold, you say. Cold pills, in this case, it's for the moment on which you have a cold. And the last one, here you have a yemo dos. No, <laughs> these are the eye drops, right? The eye drops for you to put on your eyes when you feel bad and when your eyes are sore. Okay, I am going to call the attendance, okay? Ya me he emocionado aquí hablando de las pastillas. But I am going to call the attendance. Uh, you can, I am going to continue showing you here, right, more things. Right, you have aspirin, cold tablets, vitamins, cough syrup, and non-aspirin pain reliever. This is like kind of acetaminophen, right? You also have cough drops, throat lozenges. These ones are like the very famous gargantinas, right? Throat lozenges, it's the, the candies that you take for your throat. Yeah, el, so, el sorretone, right? That you take the sorretone and then you're like, <sighs> better. Antacid tablets, the nasal spray, pss, pss, the eye drops, right? The, nasal, the nas nasal spray and the eye drops. And I also have this one, that it's an ointment, el ungüento, the cream, lotion, and the different versions of this ones. You can have a pill, que es una píldora, a tablet, no va a decir la tablet, <laughs> the tablet, no, <laughs> una tableta, right? The capsule, the caplet, Tablet sería como una, una pastilla grande. Yeah. The teaspoon, una cucharadita. And a tablespoon, una cucharadita. Right? A teaspoon, cucharadita. Tablespoon, cucharadita. No con la que mueve la sopa de pollo, right? Tablespoon mm -hmm. es la cuchara de mesa, eh, que es la como más grande. And the teaspoon, it's the small one. 
So I am going to leave this little exercise for you to finish while I pull the attendance, okay? Pueden ir escribiendo las respuestas. One, two, three, four, five. Del uno al cinco en su cuaderno. And you can write the answers, okay? And I am going to call the attendance. When you listen to your name, say here or present, okay? Let's go. So here we have Ana Isela. Present, she says. Ahí me levantó la manita. Ana Ruth. Present. Brian Francisco. Present. Carlos Ernesto. Present. Cynthia Marisol. Present. David Alejandro. Here. David Rafael. Present. Diana Beatriz. Present. Diego Rodrigo. Dieguito Rodrigo. Ok, le doy sí. Ah, Diego Rodrigo no tiene el audio activado. Eh, Eric Javier. Present. Thank you. Fatima Ibin. Fatima Ibin. Fatimita. No, I don't have Fatima. Eh, Jorge Francisco. Present, present. Josué Abel Luna. Present, teacher. Juana Margarita. Present, teacher. Catherine Jamilet. Present teacher. Laura Lisette. Present teacher. Thank you. Lorena Araceli. Present teacher. Mirna Yasmin. Present teacher. Oscar Otoniel. Present. Reina, ah, oh, Reina, Reinita tenía problemas de conexión, me decía. Mirnita me lo mandó. ¿verdad? Ya no se pudo conectar. Reinita, no. Ok. Eh, Roberto Carlos. Present. Sandra Beatriz. Present. Guadalupe Aguilar. Present. Tatiana Abigail. Tatiana Abigail Rodríguez. Hey, tati, tati. No. Úrsula Adriana. Present. And Wendy Lisette. Hey, la Wendita no me conectó ahora. ¿Qué, qué está pasando? ¿Cómo es posible este suceso? There you go. She's not here. Okay, good. Thank you very much for answering on uh, the attendance. Thank you. I have one, two, three, four missing and 22 connected. Very good. So let's continue here. Let's continue with the exercise. Who has number two? Entiende la número dos. Yeah. Okay. Can you read it, please? Count zero. Aha. Uh -huh. But can you read the complete sentence, please? Your comes on terribly take some. Come zero. Cough syrup, right? Cough uh, syrup. Hey, your cough sounds terrible. Take some cough syrup. <laughs> yeah. Have you, has that happened to you? Que de repente van a la par de alguien y... <laughs> What's going on? Uno en el boom, <laughs> exactly right. Take some cough syrup or some... ¿Qué otra cosa podemos recomendar? Or some... Uh, calm drops. Cough drops, right? Cough. cough drops. Por, por eso decimos cough, cough. ¿Se han fijado que en español le ponen cough, cough cuando alguien tose? Pero en realidad es robado el inglés porque es cough. Cough, the cough. The... <coughs> And people say cough, cough in Spanish. <laughs> And it's a, a stolen word, right? Number three. I have a headache. I am going to buy... Some aspirin. Some aspirin. Very good job. Number four. 
my arm is sore. Ah, oh, I am going to put some muscle, muscle cream. Muscle, 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 muscle cream, cream. Muscle cream on muscle. my arm. Christina has a stomach ache, so I am going to give her some antacid. Antacid. What else can you take if you have a stomach ache? What else can you take if you have a stomach ache? Además del antiácido, what else can you take for stomach ache? ¿Qué más toman cuando tienen dolor de estómago? Certal. Certal, good, certal. Alcacelsa. Omeprazol. Omeprazol. Omeprazol para la gastritis. Ok, omeprazol. Salandrio. Salandrio, right? Bicarbonato con limón. Bicarbonato con limón. Alcalá. Algo simple. Una soda simple y salandrio y sal. Oh, oh wow. Ana Esta Ruth. es una toma bien rica. Yes, definitely. Right. Una intestino <laughs> That's when you have diarrhea. Come on. <laughs> and the last one. Susie has a terrible cold. She is going to take some cold pills. Cold pills, right? She is going to take some cold pills. Okay, so this is what we are going to be doing tomorrow, right? I wanted to show you everything around the visit to the doctor, right? Before you go to the doctor. And this is on your manual, right? Esta conversación está en su manual. And I am going to assign the doctor and the patient tomorrow. So please read the conversation, right? Read the conversation and try to replace some things, right? Ustedes tratenla de hacer con otras cosas. Tal vez ella no está cansada, pero tiene dolor de estómago. Tal vez no está estresada, pero tiene, I don't know, stomach ache or diarrhea or whatever. So read the conversation and try to change it, ¿ok? Traten de hacerla como que ustedes fueran el doctor y el paciente. Because tomorrow I am going to join you with someone, right? Mañana lo voy a unir con alguien y van a ponerse de acuerdo cómo van a armar sus conversaciones. So have an idea. ¿Qué, qué le pueden cambiar? ¿Qué le pueden agregar? So bring ideas. Ya traigan sus ideas listas para que mañana cuando trabajen con su pareja, we are going to create a better conversation on the doctor. Yes? No, a question. ¿Usted no yeah. va a poner la pareja? Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. Tomorrow I am going to make the couples, right? Aquí lo vamos a mezclar mañana. Mañana a encontrar aquí al, al doctor. Le puede dar tiempo para que trabaje. No se preocupe. So you are going to have some time. So my dear class, have a beautiful night. Thank you very much for coming to class. We had a very good night. Take some aspirin if you have a headache, right? Si tienen algún dolor, acetaminophen. It's a, it's a miracle. <laughs> Relax muscle, please. Yeah, muscle cream there in, in La Paldita, right? Have a, good night. <laughs> Have a good night, my dear students. Bye, good night. Thank good you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.